talking uh, now to Hiro Sakaguchi, who um, grew up in Japan and now lives in the U.S. And uh, did you, why don't you tell us a little bit about your educational background? Um, because I assume that you did some of your work in Japan and some in this country, or you did it all here? It's much I did here. You did it all, okay. And so did you know for a long time you were going to be a painter? Yes, um, I think I, I was, uh, I when my father used to paint, and also uh, he, he did a good block print. And also, and my mother was a calligrapher, so kind of everybody in my family did some artistic stuff. So, and, um, when I was 10 years old, uh, my father took me to uh, Yuzo Saeki, the Japanese uh, modern painter show in Tokyo, uh, museum in Ueno, I think, and uh, I was really uh, inspired. Japanese anime, is any kind of anything? So, uh, I think animation was, you know, I grew up, when I grew up, it was just a big, you know, as a boy, you know, we were in general animation, copy of uh, Japanese anime. So, but actually, I was not kind of a boy. I never copied any anime or anything, but somehow, I, when I draw, I tend to come in from an out, outer line. So that tendency maybe came from animation, but also in general, uh, Japanese or uh, Chinese, those sumic, traditionally, you know, related to uh, sumic drawing or ukiyo-e block print. And uh, so it's maybe, uh, I, I never really did it. I, myself, I never had this direct influence from anime, but uh, um, as an atmosphere, I grew up and I absorbed a lot of them into my aesthetics. Yes, yeah. And you have a lot going on in your paintings. I've seen you also work very large, and um, the subject is very similar and could you tell us a little bit about the subject and what's going on because I know there's a lot of symbolic uh, meaning to this. Yes, um, I come up with some kind of uh, depict some kind of picture from what I see or what I live in this society and um, and then kind of sometimes an association with my memory or uh, also it maybe could be just a typical everyday life kind of com combined together to make some kind of painting uh, reflect both of a subjective at the same time objective world. And it's very evident that you're using children's toys as they're not, you're not looking at anything that is real, but you're telling a story. You're, you're giving us a narrative mm -hmm. using these toys. toys. Can you expand on that? Uh, yes. Uh, toys, actually, I think toys itself I, I was fascinated by because toys are, I guess, kind of in uh, introduce children our society through the toy. So it's already have some meaning, like toy has like already have uh, our history or what's going on in the world, what's kind of culture we live in and it's kids condensed in the toy. So it's using toy sometimes uh, I use many different ways. Sometimes just uh, if I depict actually a sudden event, it begins, could be very horrible. But by using toy, I can make one cushion away from horrible things, make it this other toy, something, something more lighter, make it painting uh, lighter than uh, 
the actual scenes. And uh, I work using uh, painting um, more positive. I'm try, try, I not trying to show only bad things, even um, horrible things or disaster. I want to uh, make it lighter, cope with, cope with by painting. Um, so. What, what, I, I, <clears throat> what I felt was that you had this beauty and the contrast, this chaos, and as you say, they both exist in this world. Yes, this is touching.